Slim, why are you posting that? I'm ruining the surprise. Shut up, you f***ing snitch. What's your bench press, my lord? I don't know. I have not got the weight to check a one rep max. Maybe someday I will. However, I could rep 100 kg when I was 15 turning 16. So uh, I am quite strong. So probably more than that, for sure. 130, maybe 120, 140. I don't know. I'm saying kg, by the way. No, you couldn't. Dude, I repped 100 kg one rep when I was 15 turning 16. I absolutely did. That's not crazy. Not for reps. No, one rep max. The f I wasn't repping 100 kg for sets when I was in school. What the f are you talking about? How much is 100 kg in pounds? Just so the Americans can get a grasp. Don't ask me these questions because I tell the truth and everyone calls me egotistical because they're frail, weak bitches. Don't ask me these questions every stream. I can't tell the truth. It's 220. How is that insane? It's 220. The 100kg is 220. God. I'm not lying, man. It's a lot. It's a lot, but I was a strong kid, man. The you don't remember that long ago? I do, because it was a moment where I was like, damn, I wrecked 100 kg. And then when I'm like 18, 19, watching like lifting videos, I was like, damn, I lift that when I was 15, turning 16. It's just a memory that stays with you, man. Not trying to glaze, but I have a big friend who never benched and he benched 220 easy. Like, that's not a lot for the normal big dude chat. But chat will see the DDP pick and just ignore it and act like that never happened. And here's what it is. I'm a big guy, man. I can I can lift. But yeah, true. It was it was a heavy lifter. Oh, impression, 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 man. Shut up. There's fights on, innit? Like you annoying little rodents. I'd rather watch it on my own. Thank you for the five dollars. Most oh this one. Most guys who can do hundred kg, two hundred and twenty pounds for reps can't beat you in a fight to the death. Strong in the gym doesn't mean functionality in combat. I didn't claim it did. I'm sorry that I lifted 100 kg when I was younger on a bench one time. I didn't claim that it did, uh, but I get it. And for reps, yeah, that's insane. Well, now it might not be as insane, but when I was younger, for reps, if someone was repping 100 kg, they're literally on their way to the Rugby World Cup final to win it against the All Blacks and the Springboks back-to-back semi-final to the final. What, that, again, yeah, they need to not show control time, you know. On a reel, they need to not show control time. They keep doing it, and it doesn't come into scoring. You know, the weasel agreed with me, chat, on the Marabo Mali thing, but he wouldn't say it. Did you guys see the weasel's uh, podcast? Someone told me he mentioned my video on the pod, so I went to check it out, yeah. Now, I got the cut was caused in round two, chat, and, and Klein dominated round two too much. It was it's one and uh, two and three to uh, Klein. No, we don't score damage. No, we don't score damage anymore. You keep that same energy. You keep that same energy you had with me with the O'Malley video. We don't score damage anymore. We score baby little shots with control time. You shut your mouth. Klein won now. That's the world you've made it. Because I collabed with O'Malley. That's the world you've made it. Well done. Bowing down to those from that part of the world. Well done. Klein won. No, we don't score on damage anymore. You must disliked my video. Sorry, that doesn't count anymore. This is the world you've created. Well done. My world doesn't exist anymore. I would give it to Roberts. But still, he probably didn't get, he didn't do more damage. But you know, it is what it is. It's not like Klein was just uh, kneeing his thigh. You know what I mean? He was landing elbows in a clinch. But Roberts could get it. We'll see if the Marabo Mali decision was correct there. The judges are going to keep that same energy. 30 27 is mad for Ludovic Klein. Round one, Klein. Oh, we in a whole new world now, chat. 30 27. Oh, we're in a whole new world. Well done. Don't want to listen to my O'Malley Marab video. Welcome to the new world of MMA. Control time wins. Welcome. First round is absolutely Roosevelt Roberts. Unanimous climb. 
Well done. Well done. Robert's clearly won the first round. Well done. This is the new, I know you're not the same audience, but I'm speaking to the people that might watch this back. We're in a new world. Dude, Robert's absolutely outstruck him in the first round. Weasel owns you. know, the weasel did agree with me on my Marabo Mali thing, but he wouldn't say that he agreed. Like he was literally saying like, there's an argument, you guys, but it didn't need a video. Like he, he agreed that, that there's an argument, but he didn't, he didn't want to say it. You know, it's kind of interesting. Because he was saying that you need to get like side control or the back take or, you know, full mount for it to be effective grappling and just controlling someone without locking, locking in a position is not effective grappling. So that's that was my whole take as to why Marab shouldn't win. But it is what it is. We're not going to keep going on this. We're going to watch some fights and enjoy them. Aspinall interview anytime soon. I hope to try and get one, yeah. We'll see, though. I'd like to do it on fight week for John Jones. I'm also going to do a uh, – someone gave me this idea the other day. Let me know what you think about it, chat. I'd also like to do a Derek from More Plates, More Dates interview on John Jones Fight Week just to talk about some things. So we'll see if that happens. <laughs> you know? I think that could be pretty good. Do you have him right now? Sure. Let's do it. Thank you for the $5. How do you think McGregor career, McGregor's career would have went if he stayed active after the Habib fight and how he would have looked now? How do I think his career would have went if he stayed active after the Habib fight and how he would have looked now? Ugh. I think if he stayed active after the Habib fight, he would have done better against other contenders. But I think it's not about staying active after the Habib fight. That's not what it's about. The McGregor thing is like, how would he have looked if he never took the Mayweather fight? He probably would have beaten Habib. He probably would have beaten a lot of people that he lost to. So, yeah. Is Ilya top three pound for pound a crazy take? Skill-wise, of course. Um, sure. No. I just shut up, man. Trying to make me think, in it. Uh, I don't know. He beat Volk. If he beats Holloway, then of course he should be top three pound for pound, but maybe not right now. No, Pereira should be above Ilya right now, I'd say, for sure. So, yeah. Why is UFC boring lately? No super fights, dude. When was the last super fight that we got? The next one is Holloway to Puria, but when was the last big super fight that really had you like, this is the big one, I can't wait for this? Feels like it's been ages since one of those, you know? Holloway Gaethje, and that wasn't even a main event. Not Poirier Makashev. Poirier did not deserve a title shot. Sorry. It was Volk Makashev, probably. 